Now remember, when you're investing in a company that pays a dividend, that dividend does not exist to pay back your initial investment or to outperform inflation. The dividend is just a small percentage of the company's profits that they're passing on to you, the shareholder, as a little incentive or a bonus for investing in the company. Now I have this very popular video on TikTok and now on Instagram talking about how much money you would need to invest into McDonald's stock to make $20,000 a year from the dividend. And the amount of misinformation in the comments on the Instagram video are staggering and kind of sad. So I wanted to take this time to talk over the dog and sparking downstairs and explain a little bit more about the benefits of long-term investing. I wanna make $20,000 a year from owning stock in McDonald's. How many shares would I need to own? McDonald's dividend is $5.52 a share. So you'd need around 3,700 shares. How much would that cost me? Well, McDonald's stock is $252 a share, so you'd need around $935,000. Wow, that's really helpful. Could you do more of these? Sure, just hit the follow. People do not invest in companies like McDonald's because they pay a 2% dividend. They invest in McDonald's for their growth. Over the last decade, McDonald's stock is up over 200%. Now, I know most people who watch that video say, $935,000 to invest in McDonald's to make 20 grand. I don't have 935,000. And honestly, not a lot of people do. Most of us don't. That wasn't really the point. The point of the original video was just to show you the benefits of slowly investing over time in a variety of different companies or index funds, whatever. However, since so many people wanted to focus on that 935 number and then say all of that for just 20 grand waste of time, let me show you something. Just going off the troll comments of nobody has 935 and this is useless, let's just say hypothetically that you did have $935,000 to invest in McDonald's stock all at one time once 10 years ago. This is what would happen. Come, let's take a look. 10 years ago, McDonald's stock was trading all the way down here at $96 per share. If you had dumped $935,000 into McDonald's stock one time and never actually reinvested your dividends, and we're only doing this to keep the math easy, you would have 9,739 shares. Today, McDonald's is $295 per share. That is a gain of 204%, which makes their 2.26% dividend seem like not a whole lot. So today, with McDonald's at $295 a share and your purchase price at $96 a share, you would have a gain of $1.9 million. That's why you're investing in McDonald's, not for their dividend.